George, Gaffer, thanks for joining us. Gaffer, we'll start with you. There's no rest. We're straight back to it. How is the squad heading into the Bristol Rovers tomorrow night? Yeah, everyone's ready to go. Can't wait for the game to come along. It's a good game to look forward to. A proper football side you're playing tomorrow. Good supporters, good everything. So, yeah, it'll be a good atmosphere, hopefully. Yeah, we've um, obviously drawn our last two games, but that's unbeaten in eight for us now. That must be a good, a good bit of confidence to take into a game like Bristol. I said, you know, we're always confident. You know, there's things that we're not doing well and there's things that we are doing well. Uh, George will tell you in a minute, it's, it's just difficult when you ain't had a settled side and people are coming in and doing different jobs for you, but confidence in the group's been fantastic all season. Um, I keep saying to you, forget something, there's opposition. They're doing a job on us as well, remember? So we've got to make sure that we're ready for the challenges of whatever comes in front of us. You mentioned there, obviously, the side has been chopping and changing. We saw two um, late substitutions. Tyler and Mark both came on, you know, made a real impact, as Tyler especially. You know, how important is it for those players that perhaps haven't played 90 minutes in a while to just, you know, be ready? Because we are going to need them, especially in these tough run of games. <laughs> I think George will tell you, I've been saying it all season. that, And it's, it's difficult sometimes to motivate players that they think that, well, they won't be involved. We've had to use them because they have been involved. Um, uh, once again, it's a compliment to the senior lads and everyone else that everybody's training as though we are all well, we are. It's the first team squad. We haven't got no one else except the first team. Yeah, and obviously Tom Nichols missing out at the weekend, but he has been at the weekend. Yeah, but he has been nominated for the PFA Fans Player of the Month for February. You know, we talk about him a lot, but he's such a special player and one of the senior players that you mentioned there. Tom, yeah, no, oh, yeah, but he tell you he's had a very unfortunate season, stop start, but. <laughs> Listen, I keep telling people, once we get the right side that we want out, um, it picks itself, basically. And we've got good competition to make sure that the ones that are doing it have, keep up to their work. But once again, the lads are bought into everything. They're playing, you know, because they want to win things for here and they want to win things for themselves. And if you get that going, you can't put a price on that. Yeah, we always love a Tuesday night game. The fans have been excellent in the past three games, and as you say, a lot all season as well. Bristol Rovers, they're bringing over 500 down. It should be, you know, a good matchup between our fans and their fans tomorrow night as well. Uh, yeah, like I say, our fans have been good. As I just said before, they're proper football people down there. You know, they've been around, they've got a lot of history, good supporters, um, good club. Obviously, their manager, good manager, he's turned it around down there and got them going what he wants to do. So, yeah, listen, they know they're being a game, though. There's no easy ozy, but it's another game for us to get out and prove to everybody, hopefully, how far we've come and put the boys in the shop window. Yeah, George, obviously, game's coming thick and fast. We're approaching our fourth out of four home game in a row. How's that been for you as a player? Has it been quite tough? Just Obviously, you missed out the only game after a niggly injury as well. Um, yeah, it is tough, obviously, when you come Saturday, Tuesday. Um, fortunately, they've been at home, so we ain't had to do much travelling. Um, but yeah, when they come thick and fast, obviously you can wake up on Sunday morning a little bit sore. And, you know, like Gaffer said, it's, it's been tough this season. We've had a lot of key players miss big chunks of the season. Um, I know other teams probably have had their injury problems, but I, I, I'd, I'd be surprised if they've been as, as bad as ours, uh, personally, especially in, in the key areas, like I said. Um, but, you know, we've got, we've got a few coming back. Um, we're nearly at full strength, I think. Um, so perfect time for the running which give it give it all we've got yeah have you what have you noticed sort of in the squad for the last couple of weeks obviously as you mentioned games coming thick and fast um well i mean you know we're disappointed with the the last two draws um you know we see that as two points dropped in both of them games but at the end of the day people didn't have us down to probably beat forest green so i think if we can um if we can grab the three points tomorrow night you go two wins two draws at home in them four matches and that's not a bad return at all um so, you know, we just got to make sure on our game because, um, like Gaffer said, I think everyone knows they're in for a game when they play against us and, and we're, on, we're on it. So um, we just got to make sure that, you know, the energy's there tomorrow night and the hunger and, uh, yeah, we'll make sure that uh, we give it everything. Yeah, and obviously I suppose you'll just be echoing the points of the rest of the lads as captain. You know, everyone's going to be involved at some stage. You know, we saw Tyler come on make a real difference at the weekend. You know, just we were just unable to grab the winner. But even yourself against Oldham, it was such a small injury that only puts you out for one game. You just don't know when you're going to get them. And as you said, we've had so many of them this season. Yes, it's that um, ne next man up mentality at the end of the day. Um, people who have not played as many minutes this season might think, you know, that's, that's their season finish, but it's not... Um, you see it plenty of times, players that have not played in the first half of the season then they play a pivotal role in the running of the season and, and become heroes at the end of the season. So 
Um, you know, then players just got to keep training hard, um, like everyone in the squad. And if someone's injured, it's next man up mentality. Make sure you're in and you keep the shirt. I spoke to Nick Cerullo last week about you know the four home games in a row. I'm sure as a player and as a captain as well, you'd sooner be having the four home games instead of you know home and away with, because I can imagine it would be incredibly hard when today you've been at the pool recovering but if it was Port Vale for example we were playing you'd be travelling today you'd almost have no time to recover at all yeah exactly so you know we've been fortunate in, in the respect that we have had four at home but um, you know however it comes you, you just got to be prepared for it at the end of the day and you have that strong mentality and we have got that within the squad you know um, we're a few little moments in games away from being higher in the league I, I believe so but that is what it is, you know, you can't have no excuses. We've just got to make sure that from now till the end of the season, what's left of it, we give it everything we've got and, and we see where we are at the end of it. Cool, thank you. Yes. George, stay with you. Um, you said it was disappointing, the last two draws. What positives have you taken from that? Because you did play some really good football during the, in those two games, didn't you? Yeah, I think that's what you do take from it. You take from, you take from what you've done well in them two matches. Um, we give ourselves opportunities to win both of them matches quite comfortably, but... At the end of the day, sometimes it just don't happen like that, does it? So um, you just have to keep working hard, keep believing in what you're doing, keep believing in what the gaffer and Youngie are setting us up to do, which we are, and it, it will come. Yeah, I mentioned Youngie there. Obviously, he was thrown in at the deep end a little bit, being in the bench on his own on Saturday. Not on his own, but you know what I mean. Um, how has the transition ha um, happened with um, Lee leaving and Lewis stepping up and that? Has it worked for the team and that? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're gonna we're gonna miss Brad as he, he was brilliant for us um, the last couple of years. So um, you know, it's, it's not something that we wanted, but it was best for him. So like, good luck to Brad as he's top bloke. Um, but it's another opportunity. It's like next man up mentality again for Youngie. So Youngie's transitioned really well to become first team coach, and then he's got an opportunity now to step up um, behind the gaffer now. Mm. So you know that, that's that's amazing for him, and and he'll be brilliant at it. Yeah, and how have you found captain in this squad? It's, every time I speak to a player, they talk about the spirit yeah. and everything in the squad. It must be an easy squad to captain. Yeah, I said that at the end of last season when, when the boys asked me how it was to be captain of the squad. And I just said, like, the boys and the gaffer have, have made it, they make it so easy because it's such a tight-knit squad, it's such a good atmosphere. So there's never really the moments where you feel a little bit under it because everyone's so hard-working, everyone gets along. And that's all you can ask for. So, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a great couple of seasons as captain for me personally. Good. And um, Bristol Rovers tomorrow night, a team that are above you in the table. This season, you've traditionally done better against the teams above you in the table at home. What do you put that down to? Or is it, is it just, I don't know, what do you put it down to? <laughs> I don't really know. Um, yeah. That's a little bit like our waveform wasn't great last season, but now our waveform's really picked up this season. I think that's just how football goes. Um, maybe when teams that are above us say they sort of, come forward at us a little bit more which leaves us a little bit more space on the counter because we've got some um, explosive players so maybe that plays into it and when teams sit back it is I know we had a hat four chances on Saturday but it is hard to carve them chances open when a team's sitting back and they're sort of fighting for their lives mm. um, so maybe may a little bit of that but we just got to keep going and keep chipping away. Yeah thanks Josh. Gaffer um, talking you had loads of chances on Saturday do you think at some point, some team is going to take an absolute hiding from Crawley Town if you could put away your chances. Well, but you'd like to think so. Hmm. But as long as we don't switch off up the other end, then we're the ones who get the hiding. Hmm. There's a very fine margin. Um, we just got to keep doing what we've got to do. And as George keeps saying, uh, that it's difficult because it is the next man steps up and they've got to be prepared. And you're looking along the bench sometimes or you're looking at the side and you think, I wish he was fit or I wish that one was there. But it's credit to the lads, we're still in there fighting. So hmm. I think it's a compliment to everybody, all the lads. I keep telling everybody that, that they won't get beat without trying. There's none of this turning it in lot. Hmm. You know, obviously there's games when I'm, you, you expect other things from didn't happen. But hmm. listen, I'm happy with the squad. I keep telling people that. Hmm. You know, they're a good squad. They've worked hard. We deserve to be where you are at the end of the season. Well, we got. What is it now? 13 games, 14 games, whatever it is. Well, let's, you know, we'll keep bugging away. We ain't going to like, turn it in ourselves. Yeah. Joel Lynch said after the game, it's, um, with the strikers, it's maybe a confidence thing. Is it, how do you work on that? Is, 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 is it, or does it just take a goal to lift someone's confidence? Um, the only confidence you can give them, fr from, the, from our point of view, from the manager, the best confidence you can give them is to pick them. Because if you're confident in enough for them to start, then they've got to be confident enough to get in, you know. Nader was on fire a little bit before that. 
it will come. It, you know, you've got to keep, mate. If we wasn't creating chances, that's when I'd be worried. Mm. Um, and, and relying on the same players not to, not to sort of like concede. But we're creating the chances. You've got to keep creating them. Mm. And if you do something, as I said, I told you the other day, I don't care whether it's someone on the backside goes in and we win 1-0. So what? Mm. You know. But just keep, just keep doing what we're doing. There's no sort of magic formula. If there is, I'd be bottling it and make myself a fool. <laughs> um, and on Saturday, you were obviously in the stands then tomorrow night. Did you see anything from that point of view that you maybe think you would have missed? Yes, as I said, after the game, the tea's a lot better up there. <laughs> um, you do see a different perspective on it, but the other side of that was, and one of the lads made a point, that how quiet it was right. on the pitch. And a few of the lads, and I said, well, what do you think that was? Because it's normally me screaming, and Brad is when we're there screaming. And it's to get the players' reaction. Sometimes it's hard for players to do it out on the pitch because they're concerned about the things happening at the instant. I'm out there, you've got an head like a bleeding lighthouse, you're looking around, seeing different things that other people can't see. Mm. And it is to get everybody at it, you know, it was like that playing and I was like that all over. Mm. You, you need that, you need that enthusiasm and sometimes people see you screaming and think you're doing it just because you're a lunatic. Sometimes it's just to get other people reaction out of people. You want to see them annoyed, you want to see them angry, mm. and you want to see them doing well. Yeah. Um, but that, that's what I missed because I stood up, I, I scored six goals there. <laughs> um, and is that something you've chatted to Lewis about? Um, or is that no, it's personalities. You, yeah. you know, I don't mean that everyone's got to jump up and be a. You know, I've played. You know, you get some managers who, who are the most quietest, placid people you'll ever meet until they get in a dressing room or the other side around, or people see people screaming on the touchline, then they get in the dressing room and say, "Boot a goose." Mm. It's just the way you are, and it's just. I think it sums our team up. To be fair. We're confident when we go out there and we need firing up. You know, we've got characters out there that do lead. Yeah. And like I'm saying to George, that's why I made him captain. We, we lead it as a team. We, we, we're, we're together out there. Yeah. I'm not one of these when they cross the white line, they're nothing to do with me. Of course they have to do with me because we, we, we all want to win. Yeah. And Bristol Rovers tomorrow night, um, what sort of challenge are you expecting from them? A good challenge. Yeah. You know, as I said, they've got a good manager there. They've, they've turned it of their season around. They're good supporters. They know their football. They know the football club. Um, whenever I've been there and watched there and that before with other teams and what have you, it's always been a good atmosphere there. Mm. And they're passionate, that's what you, all you can ask for. A bit like, they remind me a lot, the Crawley fans, a few times that by a, a bit of history and everything else, there's, there's not a lot between them, except mm. there's a lot more of them at Bristol because it's a, you know, it's a big club. Mm. But no, looking forward to it, you always have a laugh with them. Well, I used to, but I don't know if I'll be allowed <laughs> Yeah, and um, injury-wise, um, I know you're not going to tell me names, but are you expecting some players back? I'm not going to tell you. Fair enough. Because I don't know. Thanks, John. Thanks, George.